Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. In this video, we are going to start with the, our practical number 9. We have already covered practical number 1 to 8 in our Azure Data Engineering playlist. If you haven't seen those videos, please go and do watch. We, are, we have already started Azure Data Engineering playlist where we are covering from basic to advanced level. In this practical, what actually we are going to do? We are going to see how actually we can perform an incremental load by using a Azure Data Factory. So suppose we have a scenario, we have a continuously data coming into SQL database based on the daily. Okay. And what actually we want to do? We want to move the data from SQL database to a blob storage in a daily purpose. Okay. So, but we always want to load the data in an incremental. So suppose you have a data. Okay. Suppose you have a data, you have data till 30th of June. Suppose you have data 30th of June and that actually first you will load into a, your blob storage. Okay. Now when the first July of the data will come, instead of loading the 30th June on the first of July data, you should only load the first of July data. So that is how actually our incremental load will work. And that is how actually in a real world also we use because there are the so many data which we receive in a daily purpose. If we will run, if we will search and if we will search in the whole database and the whole table, that will be costly. So that is why we use the incremental and we use only whatever the next data is coming and which is not loaded yet into a blob storage. That is how the incremental load works. So let me go to the my Azure portal and let us see how actually we can do. Okay. Uh, so this is my Azure blob storage. Okay. I have created one container, this raw container. As of now, this container is empty. Here only we will load the incremental data. Okay. Now the second thing is like, I have created one SQL uh, database in uh, Azure. Okay. What actually I am going to do? I am going to create a dummy data and based on the incremental logic, we will see how actually we can perform. Okay, so what actually I am going to do, I am going to create one table, table name is person. Here we have a person ID, name, middle name, last name and the data date. Data date is like, this is the data which we are receiving on the daily purpose and this will be the partition of the today's date. Okay, so that is how actually I have created a um, uh, table, I am creating a table and now what I am doing, I am trying to insert a data. Okay. So what I am doing, I am inserting a data for the 30th of June. Okay. Now as of now, if you will see our table, how actually it looks like. You can see we have a 1, 2, 3, 4 and first name, middle name, last name and the data date. Data date is like 30th of June of data is now available into SQL database. So, so what actually we will do, first we will try to load this data into a into a blob storage and next time what we will do for the next partition like the 7th of July data whenever we will enter this data and when we will run the pipeline instead of loading the whole data into a blob story it should load only this this data so, okay so that is how actually we are going to see in this video as of now if you will see we have only four four data okay one two three four and this is the 30th July of the data Okay, so first what we will go do, we will go to the data factory. Here we are going to create a data flow. Click on the new data flow. We will create create our source, our source, like we are going to create a new data set for that. And our data set is like Azure SQL database. Click on this Azure SQL database, continue. Let's create a new link service. Okay, uh, let's select the server name. Select your database name. Okay, I selected the server name, database name, and uh, it is asking the username and the password to connect to the database. Okay, and let's try to see the connection. Connection is successful. Click on the create. Once you will click on the create you have to select the table name. My table name is just now I have created a db.person. This is the my table name. Okay, this is our source. Just click on the okay. 
now uh, our the source is now ready if you can see we have a five column if you want to see the data click on the data flow debug option here actually in a data preview you will be able to see your data okay as of now it is running that's why we are not able to see let us wait for that now uh, it is still running uh, okay you can see now please wait while now you have to click on this refresh button once you will click on the refresh button, the four data should come. Okay, whatever the data is available into SQL database. If we are able to see that, then we are good. Like our source is now ready. Okay, it is still fetching the data, so we are waiting for that. Let us wait. Uh, it should contain the four data ID one two three four, and it should have thirtieth July of data, because as of now that data is only available into our SQL database okay it is now you can see we have one two three four and data date is like 30th of july okay now to perform an incremental go to the source option okay now if you can see we have option of the enable incremental extract click on that once you will click on that you have to give your column name my column name is data date okay that is how actually i selected okay now what actually i will do i will try to load this data into a, a blob storage right so i selected the sync now for sync also we will create a new data set where actually we want to load we want to load into as your blob storage right so click on the blob storage continue we wanted to save into a csv format continue and click on the new uh, link service click on the subscription click on the storage and click on the create once you will do that uh, where actually you want to store we wanted to store into this raw folder just give that and first row as a header select that click on the ok click on the ok once you will click your data flow will be ready now what actually you will do click on this new pipeline and there is one more thing we had to do we actually wanted to store into a single partition right because we have very less data that is fine for the source also source is fine okay now let's go to the pipeline just drag the your data flow whatever you have created now after doing that just click on this publish all once you will publish then after that we will load first time when we will load it should only insert the four data because as of now only that data is available okay next time whenever we perform only the new data should load so that is how the incremental works okay now publish is completed click on the trigger now now our pipeline should start running okay if you will see now the, our pipeline is now running so let's so we have to wait for that and it should complete okay so let's go to the monitor window uh, in a monitor window you can see this pipeline one is still in progress so this is our pipeline it's complete okay so we will wait it to be completed it, the pipeline is running so we will wait for that now if you will see uh, now our pipeline is now succeeded so let us see whether our data got loaded or to not so go to the storage account if you click on this raw okay the data should be available uh, click here click on this data click on the download button and uh, let's see uh, how actually this data look like now if you will see this is the data which we got we have one two three four person id and data date is available so now our data is loaded successfully now what actually we will do we will go to this uh, server in a database now what actually we will do we will try to load more data in the next partition date we will load a new data okay in our database 
so I have loaded this data okay now if you will see our table in our table now we have five data okay one two three four and five what actually we have done one two three four already we have loaded into a blob storage now if we will run the pipeline only the fifth data should be loaded into a blob storage not the completely okay this one two three four that this already has been loaded now only the fifth load fifth data should be loaded what actually we will do we'll go to the pipeline again we will run the pipeline okay click on the okay now it is running now so we have to wait for that you can see our pipeline is now running go to the monitor here you will be able to see your pipeline is now running now in this time only because the uh, one partition is already available here okay now next time only the one data should be loaded not the complete data okay that is how the incremental works and in the industry purpose we always use incremental load not the complete because that will be very costly okay so let us see uh, like uh, when it will complete it is still, still in progress so we will wait for it to be completed and then we will see whether it's working or not now if you will see our pipeline is now succeeded okay let's go to the blob storage in a blob storage account if you will see we have got a new data okay this is the previous data when we ran okay 216 uh, and now let's see whether this data contain only one record or not click here click on the download open now if you will see only this day data got loaded this is the incremental that is how actually it got loaded okay only one data not the complete data so that is how the incremental load works